Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my Skyrim Let's Play and let's jump right back into it. So I think we are going to go for the Golden Glow Estate job. And I know I didn't get a whole ton of practice when I did those couple of jobs for Vex and Delvin. But uh, that's okay. I think that we're still ready to take on a job of this caliber. So let's give it a go. We're level four. We've got experience enough, hopefully. <laughs> That's the dream anyways. All right, let's see, where are we going? So it's not actually that far away. Clear out Arngoth's safe, burn three beehives. Seems simple enough, right? Alright, let's just cut through this bog here. No big deal. And I think that's the estate over there. I mean, coming up through the ocean is probably the best way to go in the first place. Or the lake. This is... I'm not sure if it's a lake or an ocean, but... We want to make sure we don't get seen. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Ugh, I'm not being very sneaky right now, am I? There we go. There we go. Alright, what weapon am I using? I don't even have a weapon equipped. Uh, I guess a bow will have to do for now. It's the most silent thing I can use. I don't see anyone. Ooh, but there must be somebody nearby. Or else I wouldn't be getting sneaking skill. I think we went the right way. Okay. Oh, who's coming? Someone is coming. Oh, please don't come down here. Just don't do it. Do I have, like, any spells that will help me? This is why, I, like, every time I'm a sneaky character, I always, like, get into illusion magic. Because I feel like... I mean, that's, that's the perfect sort of skill for someone who needs to sneak. Maybe I should equip that dagger. Or at least put it in... My quick list. Oh. All right. How far do I need to go? Maybe I can just avoid this guy altogether. Oh, come on. Come on. Where is that coming from? Please don't come over here. I don't want to have to start this over. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's two of them over there. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. I can, I'm so close I can hear them coughing. This isn't really... Oh, this is not a safe place to be. Okay. I don't think there's anyone in here. So hopefully, I mean, I hear footsteps, but I don't see anybody. It's like they're coming closer. Okay. Okay. I don't know if there are like guards in this hallway. 
But it's freaking me out, man. Okay, that's where I came in, so. And these are, that's a stair, stairwell. It's a ladder or whatever. Okay, I think that there's a guard in this hallway right here. So, let's, oh, fuck me, fuck, fuck, fuck me, fuck. No, don't come over here, don't come over here. Oh, oh, don't come over here. I guess I was just hearing things. Oh my god, that was so close. I mean, I try not to swear on this channel because I want everybody to be able to watch it, but that scared me so bad. Okay. Okay. Yes, you were just hearing things. Don't even worry about it. Don't come over here. No, don't. Don't. I'm like listening to the footsteps, just trying to like get around this corner without anybody hearing me. Okay. Okay. Oh god, he's over there. Okay. So he's gonna walk back this way. And then he'll stop and go back. That's when I have to get this lock open. Oh my goodness, really? There we go. Go through the door, close the door. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I can finally relax just a little bit before we enter this next area, the basement. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay. As long as neither of them move and don't look over here. I can probably sneak by just fine because I mean that other guy, he looked right at me and didn't catch me because I'm so sneaky sneaky. Those two guys are so involved at staring at the wall that they'll never, never see me, never see me. See, I can understand why they wouldn't hear me sneaking, but I don't really understand why they don't hear the doors. I guess that would be a little bit too difficult. Crying out loud, crying out loud, crying out loud. I mean, that's a lot of pelts, but... Maybe I'll take them. Is there anyone in here? There's no one in here, but there is oil all over the floor. Always good. Okay, there's a dude right there. Man, this place is heavily guarded. Okay. I might have to kill him. I have to go down that ladder, and he's staring right at it. Okay, he is standing in a puddle of oil. And it's it's it leads right to him, so he's just asking to be burned. Did you hear that squeal? Nothing here after all. That's right. 
Nothing here after all. We'll drag him over into this area over here. Hopefully there won't be anyone over here who will see me. Perfect. Well hidden and everything. <laughs> All right. It was a necessary thing. I mean, it's not as if I could have gotten around him. So I feel very bad and everything, and I know that it's against the rules, but... For this one, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. How come this room doesn't have a guard? Seems like of all the rooms that should have a guard, this room should have one. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Golden Glow Bill of Sale. That's what they want? Weird thing. Well. At least I'll get to take all this money and keep it for myself. Huh. Where do you reckon that goes? To the sewer. Well. Let's try going this way. I wonder if there will be guards in the sewer. I mean, what would you need to guard a sewer for? I guess probably for experiences exactly like this, where somebody breaks in and tries to escape through the sewer. And yet, there is nobody down here. Oh no. I get the feeling that once I go down, I'm not coming back up. Well, well, YOLO. <laughs> Good. Usually when I say YOLO, it doesn't end well. But I think this might be okay. Oh, crap. gonna give me a disease. Skyrim. Okay, that goes out into Skyrim. Um, what's over here? Ew. What have they been doing down here? That's not good. Seems like the kind of place that they would put prisoners. Oh. Speaking of prisoners, there's a chest in there. Money, healing potion, better than nothing. Pickpocket, perfect. There we go. That was totally worth it. So let's see what else is down here. The farther we go, the more it feels like I shouldn't be down here. Not that I should be here at all. Or skeevers. Right in the face. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can see why they put that there. That's a pretty effective trap, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it didn't affect me, and I didn't really find it very dangerous. But, if I wasn't so quick-witted, I bet I could have eventually been burned by that somewhat. Hopefully I'm not, like ascending into the middle of a bunch of guards here. No, I'm not. I'm ascending up to the back. 
of the estate. This is actually the perfect place for me to come out. So I have to get over there and set some uh, set some beehives on fire. Ooh, the moons are watching over me tonight. Us Khajiit are very connected to the moons, if you didn't already know. What position the moons are in dictates what form a Khajiit will take when they're born. So if I can do this without making too much trouble for myself, that will be ideal. If this were real life, I would climb right up there. Right up right up there right just right up there not happening not even happening a little bit how many do we need to burn again three how about all of them let's get out of here Nowhere. You'll never find me. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Well, that's fine. Skyrim doesn't need to belong to me. I still beat you. I still won that round. Rin 1, Golden Glow Estates 0. <laughs> That went well. You've made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. Oops. Sorry. Here's what was in the safe. At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Let me see that. Arangar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Sorry. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Uh-oh. Uh, sure, but will I come out of there alive? <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just business. Well, what does she want from me? That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Just keep your ears open and your mouth shut, and you'll do fine. Well, I'm not that great at keeping my mouth shut about stuff. But I can definitely keep my ears open. Well, that was a disaster. I killed that guy. I burned all the beehives instead of just three. I'm surprised that Maven doesn't want me dead. But, um, well, let's go see what she wants. I bet she's about to give me an earful about listening Take when people advice. tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at that, rather. So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. Uh, Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled was going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. My apologies, Lady Maven. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. Well, sorry you're disappointed. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, Brynjolf sends me someone with no backbone, no determination. You have no faith in the guild? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I oh, maybe that's your problem. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Well, you won't have that problem with me again. I hope not. 
This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Looking to stay alive? Well, where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. So... How did you become allied with the Thieves' Guild in the first place? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare mm. say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. So, who runs the show at Haunting Brew? Some layabout named Sabion. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Hmm. Sabjorn seems like more than just friendly competition. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabjorn get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that vile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the goal to take it to market so quickly. So get rid of him and he's no longer a threat. Exactly. With Sabjorn in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No hmm. more competition. Why strike now? The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. Well, fair enough. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job and you will be sorry. I'm pretty afraid. Or at least, maybe I should be. But I'm not. You're a so... Here too, huh? But I'll, I'll, I'll do the job. I'll do the job clean. This time. <laughs> Alright, well I think that's where I'm going to leave today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and maybe even share this video with a friend. Let's play some games again soon, guys. Bye for now. So, let's do that and just watch that baby burn. <laughs>